Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. Today, we're watching season two, episode 22 of Haikyuu called The Former Coward's Fight. I love that. I love that. We are at the end of the second set. Karasuno versus Seijo. Mad Dog has been going off. <laughs> He's what you call a terminal player. Every time he touches the ball, the rally ends for one team or another. We don't know for who. He's either getting a kill or making an error. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes those players are great and sometimes they're not. You always need a backup in case it goes south. Suga got subbed in, not as necessarily a setting sub, but as a serving sub. Yeah. I like I like the double sub to give Kageyama a chance to hit though. I think that made sense. I think he was put in more for serving and defense. I agree. Okay. But like that's an added benefit, especially in that rotation where it's Hinata and Tanaka. I think that overall good strategy. Yeah, that was well played by yeah. Ukai and by Suga. Um, Oikawa is playing Hinata like a fiddle. Yes, it's a little, it's a little Bending hard to Bending him to his every whim and desire. I don't, I haven't seen him move the right direction once. I mean, you guys, you know I hate to say it, but I give him props where it's due. The boy knows how to set. He knows how to run an offense. He does. I'm not happy about it. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Are we going to, is Karasuno gonna get a few points, polish this baby off in two, or are we gonna go to a third and deciding set? What I would like to happen is for Yamaguchi to come in and rip off a few great serves and bring them back into the game. Yeah, we ended the last episode with him staring Ukai down and Ukai being like, yeah, yeah, I know. And good for him, good for him. I, that would be like the ultimate redemption story. Do I think that that's probable? No. Do I think that Seijo is probably gonna close out this set and we're gonna go for three? Yes. If I had to make a, like if you forced me to put money on the result, I would say they bring it back, they lose this set 25-23, they go to a third set, Mad Dog cracks under pressure, and they end up winning. There you go, everybody. No need to watch it. Adam has deciphered the mystery. <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying I think that that's a probable. If this was Demon Slayer, that's 100% what would have happened because he has not been wrong in one prediction, no matter how outlandish in that anime. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's find out just how close or far from the truth Adam actually is. Season 2, episode 22 of Haikyuu is coming right now. Oh, I thought that was the score. I was like, what? <laughs> How did they just skip the last part of the match? I don't know ずいぶん気を入れて便所行くんだな。そうなんだろ。うんこって言えよ。影山くんおげひん。そう、トイレに行ったんじゃないと思うけど。うんこ。そう、うんこ。うかいさん。俺が投入される意味も分かって、そして自分でも勝負できるようになりたいと思って。それでもどう頑張って逃げました。俺にもう一回チャンスをください。うっせえな。分かってるよ。あら、ボーイ。<sighs> Oh, 
Mass. I'm sorry, you're watching from the stand, so how successful were you? I don't think people are ruthless. That right there sums up everything about him. I don't know if that's a helpful or like distracting. Good advice, not enough people listen to that. Find your team. あんま慌てんなよ。はい。まあ、あとはあれだ。迂回のとこへ行ってきたんだろ。はい。自分の意志で。じゃあ、お前はもう今までとは決定的に違うプレイヤーだ。自分がやりたいと思うことをやってこい
Well, that's a tough fall for the mad dog. Get him in the face. I don't think anybody on Seijo doesn't float serve, so he never sees them. I guess he, I mean, he probably doesn't pass much. <laughs> than anything else. Are you okay? Oh my gosh! I just love that part. And you, they did a little taster of the flashbacks when he did his first serve. I mean, as a coach, everybody loves winning, but those are my favorite moments like when you watch an athlete who can't do something and then they learn a skill and then they're able to perform it like under pressure but then they're successful like seeing somebody go through that and then seeing how happy they are or how much how much of a sense of accomplishment they have like it's a it's a great feeling selfishly to be a part of that well and even Anoshita's like reaction like tying it into running away and being a coward like I don't know that whole part is just so beautiful to me and just to see him overcome that like oh I mean that's I mean this is sports but that's life you're that age you make mistakes you make bad decisions well, any age yeah but I, I like for them to come back and to conquer that is, it's awesome. And even him being like, no, I'm not going to let you serve yet. Whereas before he was like shaking so bad. He was so terrified. And now he's like, no, I'm not done serving yet. <laughs> like, oh, sport is just such a beautiful teacher. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I, that part will never fail to make me cry. よっしゃ。せいじょうにタイムアウト取らせるなんてすげえぞ山口。山口。ありがとうございます。あの<笑><笑> あいつらみたいに自分の体を操りたい。俺を操りたい。強い奴らと対等に戦いたい。I 
いいかただしボールを捕まえる余裕を与えてはいけない直線軌道で白体スレスレを狙って That routine, he's got his breathing routine down. Get over. He hit that one with purpose this time. Yeah. Oh. The trickle ace after a timeout? That's heartbreaking for the other team. <laughs> it's newfound confidence and a belief in yourself. It's interesting the different secret weapons. Oh! He has found his routine. Needs to make sure he does it all the time. Is that a kid's net? <laughs> He's like as tall as the net. I uh, like how it's like six, seven in that, in that one. <sighs> this changes everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Yeah. He hit that one with purpose. Everybody loves a trick away when you're serving. Oh, yeah, give me one every time. Nice touch. Oh, please. Cover. Oh, that's a big swing. Hit that hard enough to blow it out the back. I need to just breathe with him because I am. Sukashima didn't get I'm enough on. credit for that play. To the dog. He tried. Oh, he's up there. Oh. I mean... He... Nothing else could be asked of him. Yes. He had no business accomplishing what he did. And good job by the Sage of Libero to step in and take that yeah. pass. If Mad Dog had to have passed that, it could have been game over. Mm. Oh. Good job. All right, here we go. The bench players always have such a special relationship with each other. Yeah. Next time I'll get 10 points, he said. Yeah, nailed it. That's the ace, baby. And they have the right rotation to win this. Their ace is in the front row, Mad Dog's in the back row. 
gotta be Kageyama serving, right? Oh, wait, what? I'm not sure how used to being in this position Seijo is. It'll be curious to see what happens. If I'm not mistaken, it's usually Seijo and Shiro Torizawa in the final to go to nationals. Fair. Uh, That's a heck of a play. I mean, you had to jump with him, though. Yeah. Or, I mean, the left side probably should have jumped alone. Oh, look who it is! You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think he's gonna miss this one. I'm gonna try it anyways. <gasps> Pickle Jinx! And he went after the little girl. Yeah. Like, that's a statement. Had a critical point. Still. <sighs> <sighs> you gonna make it? I know I've watched this before, but it's still very emotional. Like, every time Yamaguchi was doing his deep breathing, I was too, because I needed it. Oh, thoughts? I mean, what I wanted to happen happened. Close match. Close, Close match. Set, sorry. And and thanks to Yamaguchi who came back and like earned his confidence. Adam's dream came true. And earned earned a chance to fight with his teammates and to be okay with his role and to do it incredibly well. But this is this is two good teams trying to make the final to go to nationals. This is exactly how it should be. Adjustment, Mad Dog comes in, tilts the scales. They make an adjustment, they use a, a floats or a jump floatser, which the other team doesn't normally see. You know, back and forth and here we go. And now, th this is what I always say, you have to give yourself a chance to win and then it's about who can make a play at the end. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that last serve was a great play. I'm gonna spin serve at your libero and I'm gonna blow him off the ball. Like, that's a statement. And that's an impressive serve at that point of the match. A hundred percent. You, I mean, you gotta give him credit. <sighs> and now I have no idea what's gonna happen. I got, I got no feel. <sighs> Mad Dog's gotta be rotating to the front row. Yeah, if Oikawa's serving, he's in the front now. I feel like, as a, as a rookie player in a pressure moment, where he's not the most technically skilled, I think he's gonna make an error. Yeah, two man service table Kind of middle of course. Oh, 
Get him. Probably give it to the ace to finish. Well, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Doesn't matter. You did your job, my friend. That's good advice. Oh, wonderful. I'm guy. glad they, yeah. That's just being a good teammate. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps again. This episode got me. <laughs> I mean, this oh is. Oh my gosh, full body troll again. You want to win in two, but this is how it should be. A high stakes match? Let's go the distance. Everybody's worked so hard. They're competing at a high level. The volleyball is good. And you know what? Winning a... Th I don't know if you agree with this, but winning a three-setter just heightens the emotion after you win than winning two straight, I oh, think. It's very emotional. Yes. 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 So... Uh, Especially when it's a dogfight like this. Yeah. I mean, the first set is two points. The third set, or the second set is two points. Overtime. Down to the wire. Oh, I just don't know. I, I'm Adam is it. just in a trance. He can't even believe it. Well, no, I'm thinking about who do I think is going to win the third set. And oh, this is about so much more than just like winning and losing, though. It's like evolution. It's confidence. It's growth. It's... I, and I don't teamwork. I, yes, uh, I totally agree with you from the outside and from a big picture. But if you're those athletes, nothing matters right now other than winning the third set. And it's just exciting to see that from them and just to see all of the highs of each of the players. And it'll be interesting to see. Like Sejo's played in a couple finals. They all, like you said, they're always playing against Shira Torzawa. Like, does the experience play a factor? Can Karasuno manage their nerves? How does Mad Dog deal with a third set in a pressure situation? I think all of those are definitely going to be factors. Oh. I think the like, I don't disagree with what you're saying, but like the impact watching it is about like the outside stuff. Absolutely. 
Uh, one one hundred percent. I was putting myself like in into the match as it is. But yeah, I mean to see. I mean, think about you know trying to learn volleyball in the first episode. You know, and where where they've come as a team and all of the things that they've learned. And yeah, abs absolutely. It's all the hard work culminates to. I guess it's twenty five points. They don't play to fifteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have a huge just grin on my face. The deep breathing exercises I had to do. The number of goosebumps I had in that episode. Like, I feel like I'm there playing with them, okay? It's actually harder to watch than to play, but uh, I keep trying to tell you that. This is intense. One more set to go, baby, of the greatest rematch. How many episodes are in this season? 25. Okay. Got a few more. <sighs> that was great. This yeah, the Gamaguchi episode. <sighs> you can't you can't help but love. One of the greatest from this season, in my opinion, for sure. Oh, that's a bold statement. Adam can't remember the episodes from the season. <laughs> that's why he said that. <laughs> no, I was thinking about some of the other some of the. Do girls. you agree? Do you agree with that? I think some of you do. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Is this one of the greatest episodes of the season, in your opinion? Rank your top three from season two. Or you can save it till the end of season two, just in case. Fair enough. You know, who knows? Maybe you'll pick one that's later. I don't know. Um, but is this one one of your top ones? Because we've seen this one. Hit us up with your comments below. As always, we'd be so excited if you'd like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the final countdown. Set three, baby. Next week. Bye, guys.